Tony, it's been a long, hard, tough season, but ultimately, although it didn't quite end as everybody wanted it to, you must be very proud as a chairman of this football club. I mean, you're right, it's certainly been a, a long and tough season. I'm ex exceptionally proud of, of the players' achievements. Getting 89 points this season, only losing five league games out of the 46 games. You know, it's a tremendous effort by Chris and his team and all the players. We're also tremendously disappointed that all of those efforts haven't meant promotion, which was our ultimate goal. And you know, the players and everyone at the club have deserved it. But sometimes in life, you know, you don't get what you deserve, and and that's what's happened. And the last few games, we've had a tremendous amount of bad luck as well. Three out of the last four years, the, the team have been there in the playoffs. But coming that close and 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 feeling like you deserve it, does that make it even tougher this time around? There's no doubt it's very tough to take, and um, everyone at the club, and, and particularly the players. I mean, the effort they put in of all those games was tremendous. And so, um, you know, getting to the playoffs three times out of the last four seasons is an achievement, but it makes us even more determined that next season we want to go up and we want to be top two. In interesting to read the manager's comments are, are immediately after the game. Use it as an inspiration next year. Is that, is that the message for everybody? Let's uh, use uh, this as a... Absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's the is the right message to give and we've done tremendously this season but today is a new day today is the first day of the new season and we've been in a board meeting talking about many things preparing for next season and that's the way it's got to be we haven't got any time certainly for, for myself and, and Chris and a lot of the other people to pick ourselves up uh, I mean the players will have a bit of holiday, they'll be back end of June, ready to go for pre-season, but we've got to start planning ahead right now. How important will the fans' role be again next season? They've been tremendous this season, but I guess it's, it's just as important that the squad go again, that the fans go again next season and, and, and give the team that backing. Well, the togetherness was a great, a great theme of this season, uh, particularly what what happened uh, in the Shoreham disaster and us losing Matt and Jacob, but the togetherness of, of the players and the squad and the team and everyone at the club. And, and alongside that, we had the fans who all season have been tremendous, home and away. And I think in the game against Sheffield Wednesday, again, they were absolutely superb. I asked for a call of arms for them to make noise from the first minute to the last, and they really didn't disappoint at all. And you know, we had the situation when Sheff Sheffield Wednesday equalised. It's certainly, from a personal point of view, one of the worst goals um, as a Brighton fan that I've seen, and it was so deflating. And for sure, our fans are human, and, and they were also deflated, but they kept going again. The players, however deflated they were, because we could have been two, three goals up at that point, they kept going as much as they could. And, and you know, the players left everything everything on the pitch last night. And as for, as for the fans, what really struck me was at the final whistle, when we were all so disappointed and despondent that we didn't get through the playoffs, the fans were in great voice and they really gave our players the, the salute that they absolutely deserved. In terms of that game and across the season, we, we've spoken about the, the pride, but you, you know, that pride with the, with the team, the squad of players, that group of players, how, how, how do they rate in your mind as a, as a Brighton supporter, not just the chairman, um, as a group and, and this season as well? How does that rate for you as a, as a fan? Some are saying it's been one of the most exciting, possibly the greatest season that they've seen. Well, I've been watching the Albion for 40 years and I think this is the best season we've had, albeit we didn't get the promotion that we craved. But in terms of performances, uh, entertainment on the pitch, the squad of players that we've got, the, you know, the tight knit group that we've got, the players playing for one another, I don't think it's been beaten in any of the last 40 seasons that I can recall. So that, that provides the foundation, I guess, going into next season. What, what plans do you have for the summer? I guess there, there'll be a little bit of activity, but you've got the bedrock there, I guess, of the squad that can go and challenge. Well, absolutely. We've got the nucleus of a squad who I think have got a real chance of challenging and getting promotion next season. 
as always, there will be some recruitment. There won't be as much as, as this time last season. There will be some recruitment. And, you know, from today, myself and Chris and Paul Winstanley will be starting working and planning to get the squad of players that we want um, for the start of the season in August. How pleased are you with the recruitment over those last three windows? Well, I'm extremely happy with how the recruitment's gone in the last 18 months and we're working on it. We don't want to rest on our laurels and we're going to be ready to go again. You know, we, we've got the right uh, system in place to be able to um, look at many, many different players across Europe and obviously in the UK. And Paul Winstanley is, is really important to the whole process and he's done a tremendous job. And, and I guess it, it's easier this summer on the back of this season than perhaps it, it, it was last summer. You're right. I mean, it's always easier to recruit on the back of um, a very good season. So, um, you know, if a player has a choice between a team which has finished third or finished um, 20th, all other things being equal, uh, they're going to generally choose the team which finished third. So it, it does make our job easier, but recruitment is never easy. Um, good players generally have choices, and so we do always have to sell the club, sell the manager, sell the environment we're in. And we do that very well because we've got a world-class stadium, world-class training facilities, a superb manager, and just a great club to work for in a great part of the country. Talking of the manager, how pleased are you with that appointment? It's worked out pretty well. Well, Chris has had a tremendous season. He absolutely, like all the players, so deserves a success of promotion that you know, it's a cruel world sometimes and, and the 89 points in the end wasn't enough. Um, we couldn't ask any more from him. He's worked so diligently, he's worked so well. I think in all aspects of the football club, he's been superb and he's very deserving of the LMA Championship Manager of the Year. And I guess that's a particularly special award, perhaps the one you want to win because you're recognised by 23 other Championship Managers. Well, absolutely. He's been recognised by his peers and um, you know, he's fully deserving of the award. Um, and I guess the only thing he would like to, on top of that, or, or, or the most important thing, uh, is the promotion which, 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 which he didn't get. But we're all very determined that we will go again and we'll be a force to be reckoned with, reckoned with next season in the Championship. What well, are the games that really sort of stand out in, in, in your mind's eye? Well, it's been such a superb season, so many top quality games, top quality performances. So if I have to pick out one, I think it was early on, a way to a very good Ipswich side when we played really well. And it was the time that I believed that this could definitely be our season. We were going to be right up there. Um, I mean, I was quite optimistic at the start of the season. I knew, I was very confident we'd recruited well and I knew that the new players had settled in very well. But I think that was the, that was the, that was the game that I, I felt confident that we were going to be in the top echelons of the division. And just looking ahead to next season, obviously we're, we're sort of less than 24 hours after the heartache, still very raw from last night. But there is, a, is there a part of you, a big part of you even, that can't wait for August, that first game of the season, that new season, um, itching to go? Well, I'm quite looking forward to a little break. Um, I think you've earned between, it to be between, fair. between now and then. But absolutely, uh, I myself and the club as a whole were as determined as ever to reach the Premier League. And we want to do that as soon as possible. And I'm sure with, with Chris and, and his team around him and the players that we've got and the, and the few players we may bring in, and the fans we've got, I think we've got every chance next season.